some adjustments in the budget considering uh, the effect of uh, the drop in the price of oil, crude oil. Uh, how much is then uh, the total debt burden uh, as captured in the 2020 budget, which has been readjusted now? The readjusted budget is not yet before the National Assembly. It is still being worked upon. And uh, when uh, work on it is completed at the level of executive and bilateral discussion between the executive and the legislature, I believe it will be presented. So as it were now, there are discussions ongoing on adjustment of the budget. The work is not yet complete, so I'm not in a position to tell you what will be the readjusted uh, budget in terms of revenue and on terms of expenditure. But what has been done, what was done yesterday specifically, the letter of Mr. President was very clear. It's not a request for a fresh loan, but a request that the earlier approved loan of $850 billion, which initially the approval is for, is, to, is for it to be sourced externally, is now to be sourced through local capital I mean, market. And there are a lot of advantages in that because of the current challenges in the international financial market. So, uh, in essence, that explains for some of those who are criticized the Senate for giving it uh, in such a, a way that it was uh, approved. Uh, that, got, that, that explains the reason why you gave it an accelerated passage yesterday, isn't it? it, 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 it yes, I will say that uh, even though at the, at, the, at, the, at the level of our committee yesterday, we, we, made, uh, we issued a bulletin to clarify the issue. So the, I think the general impression is as if just within a wave, with a wave of the hand, the Senate approved the, uh, a request to raise $850 billion. You will recall that initially when the Senate approval was given to the external borrowing plan of the federal government, the general borrowing plan, both local and uh, the external one, there was a committee of uh, the Senate which is inter, uh, uh, inter, inter committee, uh, committee itself, which looks at all the ramifications as to the borrowing plan, the content, and also the purpose for which they will be used for. So this effort took weeks, and all the agencies involved in the I mean, borrowing had to come before the relevant committees of the Senate to defend their proposition and to look at necessary documentation. So those work had been done. Simply, the request of Mr. President, which, of course, reasonably was approved, was that the $850 billion already approved would have gone through all the relevant I mean, processes of the, of the Senate should, uh, in terms of the sourcing, be now from the uh, domestic uh, capital market rather than going uh, into the uh, uh, international uh, uh, market for uh, raising the loan. And the justifications were actually given even in the letter for Mr. President, and Mr. President assured, even in the same letter, that the uh, Honorable Minister for Finance and all uh, relevant agencies or executives, they are available to provide uh, whatever uh, explanations that the Senate may require. And that's a consequence upon that, the Finance Committee of the Senate and other relevant I mean, committee were asked to interface with the executive, and that interfacing started by 3 p.m. yesterday. So